Hello everyone, Ryan Baxter here, and today I'd like to show you how you can control an HTML5 based slide deck with the IBM Internet of Things Cloud, IBM Bluemix, and a Texas Instruments sensor tag. So we're all familiar with uh, uh, these types of devices, this one specifically from Logitech, uh, but there's other companies that make similar devices, uh, but these, allow, these devices allow you to control a PowerPoint or a keynote uh, presentation uh, without having to stand in front of the computer. So the left and right buttons here allow us to go to next and previous. Uh, 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 slides in the in the deck, um, and these devices are really good. But um, lots of people like to use uh, HTML5 based slide decks, um, especially developers, because it allows them to um, uh, embed code within their uh, their uh, presentation uh, because it's running as a web application. And these types of decks can be uh, deployed to uh, can run locally on your machine, or they can be deployed to uh, a cloud environment like Bluemix, for example. Uh, but it's it's pretty much impossible to use one of these things to control an HTML5 based slide deck because a web app doesn't have uh, a way of, of connecting to this device and um, the uh, especially if it's deployed to the cloud it would never be able to connect to your local machine so uh, these kind of are out of the question. Uh, however we can do this, something similar with a Texas Instrument sensor tag and this is what a Texas Instrument sensor tag looks like. Uh, it has a number of sensors inside of it like an accelerometer, gyroscope, magnetometer, uh, can uh, read uh, a lot of things about the air temperature, etc. Uh, but it also has a left and right button right at the top of the sensor tag that you can push. And we're going to use these buttons to control an HTML5 based slide deck that's deployed to Bluemix. So first we need the code to, to get everything up and running. So the first thing we're going to do is head out to GitHub here and clone our GitHub repository containing the code. So we're going to copy the URL, go back to our terminal and say git clone and the uh, repo URL. And this will just clone our repository and then we can cd into the repository. Now if you look inside here there's a number of folders uh, but the one we're currently going to be interested in is the publish folder. So uh, once we get into the publish directory um, uh, the first thing we're going to need to do is, is register uh, my computer with the IBM IoT Cloud because it's going to be publishing data to the IBM IoT Cloud uh, 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 from uh, the sensor tag. So we're going to head back to Firefox here and go to our Internet of Things cloud uh, and I'm going to sign in. I've already registered and have an organization and everything and I'm going to add a device. So uh, I'll just click the add device here and we're going to be publishing sensor tag so we'll, we'll pick sensor tag uh, out of the uh, device drop down we need the MAC address of my computer. So I can easily find the MAC address of my computer by going to the network preferences and selecting my Wi-Fi connection, clicking advanced, going to hardware, and here's the MAC address of my computer, um, uh, of my Wi-Fi connection. So I can copy this MAC address and uh, paste it down here in the device ID field. And this field expects it not to have any colons in it, so I'm going to take out the colons and then click continue. Once the device is registered, uh, the uh, IoT Cloud will give you a bunch of properties uh, that you are going to need to run the application. So copy these properties and uh, let's, um, let's create a file. We need to create a file in this directory uh, uh, called config.properties. So we'll start up nano, paste in the properties, we'll write out the file, we'll call it config.properties and we'll save that and then we can exit Nano. And now uh, we're ready to start our, our application that's going to publish the data to, uh, to the IoT Cloud. Um, this uh, application is using Node.js, so first thing we need to do with any Node.js applications run npm install. And once npm uh, install has finished, we can uh, start up our Node application. So we can say Node, and in this case we want to start up a file called sensor tag.js. This will print out a couple things. It prints out the MAC address of our, of our computer, which we already know, and it tells us to make sure the sensor tag is on and that it's connected to the IoT Cloud. So once it's saying that it's connected to the IoT Cloud, it's ready to go. So uh, we can go ahead and push the power button on our sensor tag here. And we can see that instantly our sensor tag has been discovered uh, by my MAC, and now it's uh, publishing information to the IoT Cloud from the sensor tag. So now we need our HTML5 presentation. Uh, that is also included uh, within the, uh, the same project, so uh, we can go up a directory here 
uh, in our sensor tag project and we'll see that there's a subscribe directory and we'll cd into that subscribe directory and this directory contains another uh, uh, Node.js application that we can publish to Bluemix and the application itself contains an HTML5 based slide deck uh, that we're going to control with our sensor tag. So before we publish push the application to Bluemix, we need to first create an Internet of Things service um, uh, in Bluemix itself. So we're going to head over to Bluemix. And I'm already logged in. And I need to create a new uh, IoT service. So I'm going to head over to the catalog. And down at the bottom, there's an Internet of Things category. And I'm going to select the Internet of Things service. And we're going to change some of the properties up here. We're not going to, we're going to leave it unbound for now. Leave the service unbound. We're going to change the name to IoT Sensor Tag. And we need an API key and auth token. Uh, now these also come from the IoT Cloud, the Internet of Things Cloud. So we're going to jump back to our Internet of Things Cloud here. And click Done to this dialog. We're going to go to API Keys and we are going to add a new API key. And this will display a dialog with the API key and auth token. So we're going to copy these values and we are going to paste them in the service creation dialog. And click create. Okay, now our new Internet of Things service has been created, but it is unbound. Uh, we will bind it to the application when we push the application. So there is a manifest file that's part of this directory that will look for the service named IoT Sensor Tag and bind that service to the application when it's pushed to Bluemix. So uh, all we need to do at this point is run CF push, and it will use our manifest file to push the application to Bluemix. Okay, so the push is successful. The URL to our application is here. So we're just going to copy that URL. We're going to head out to, to Firefox, paste the URL in. And the, one of the links at the bottom here says use a sensor tag to control a slide deck. And we'll click view demo. Uh, and in order to get started using the sensor tag, you need to tell it about the device ID that's publishing the data from the sensor tag to um, to uh, the IoT cloud. And uh, we can easily get that device ID again from our node application, which printed it out for us right here. We can also go back to the network preferences if we want, but since it's right here, we'll use that. And click Connect. And once we do that, I can pick up my sensor tag and I can start clicking buttons here. And we will see that as I click the buttons that the slide deck is changing slides. So uh, I can go previous or or next, or, uh, or however, whatever direction I want, right from the sensor tag. Now again, this is publishing data uh, from the sensor tag, uh, is connected to my Mac over Bluetooth, and my Mac is running uh, a Node.js application which is publishing the data to the IBM Internet of Things Cloud, and the application I deployed to Bluemix is connected to the IBM uh, Internet of Things Cloud and is uh, subscribed to the data published from uh, my Mac for the sensor tag so it knows when I click a button on the sensor tag uh, and which button I clicked and which direction to move the slides. So that's a very quick demo of what you can do with Bluemix, the Internet of Things, uh, and IBM's Cloud. Thanks.